सो नाउ लेट्स डिस्कस वन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक द इक्विवेलेंस ऑफ टू फाइनाइट ऑटोमेटास वी विल टेस्ट द इक्विवेलेंस ऑफ टू फाइनाइट ऑटोमेटास हेयर इन दिस टेस्टिंग प्रोसीजर वी हैव टू फॉलो सम डेफिनेशन द कंडीशन विच शुड बी ट्रू एंड देन वी विल लर्न अबाउट प्रोसीजर अबाउट हाउ टू टेस्ट कम लेट्स बिगेन इट सो फॉर द टॉपिक इक्विवेलेंस ऑफ टू फाइनाइट ऑटोमेटा यू हैव टू कीप इन माइंड द टू पॉइंट द फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज टू फाइनाइट ऑटोमेटा आर सेट टू बी इक्विवेलेंट इफ दे एक्सेप्ट द सेम सेट ऑफ स्ट्रिंग्स सपोज यू हैव अ एल्फाबेट एंड द एल्फाबेट सेट कंटेन्स अ स्पेसिफिक नंबर ऑफ सिम्बल्स एंड बोर्ड द एल्फाबेट आर इक्वल देन द स्ट्रिंग्स फॉर्म बाय दैट एल्फाबेट विल ऑल्सो बी सेम one combination and the other combination will be same if all those strings will be accepted by the two finite automata then they can said to be equivalent finite automata or we can state the point like this suppose if w is a string we take a string w then on processing that string w if string is w and we process that string that is we give it to finite automata 1 and we also give that same string to finite automata 2 then if finite automata 1 reaches the final state and if 2 also reaches the final state then they both are equivalent that means on same string if they both reach to a final state then they will be said to be equivalent and if any one of them that means fa1 or fa2 if any one of them fails to reach the final state if fa1 reaches the final state and fa2 fails or if fa1 fails and fa2 reaches the final state then we can say that both the finite automata are non equivalent now to test if fa1 and fa2 are equivalent or not we have a procedure let's discuss that procedure now before discussing the procedure for the testing the equivalence of two finite automatas there are two conditions of equivalence let's discuss them first the first condition of equivalence is that both the finite automatas should process the same sigma what is sigma the alphabet set that is both should have the input symbols from the same alphabet the second condition is if there is a state in a finite automata such that the state is initial as well as the final state what do you mean by this initial as well as the final suppose if there is a state say q1 then that q1 is initial state as well as q1 is also the final state this is the case that is in a finite automata if one state is initial as well as final then in the another automata also there should be a state like this such that any state in that automata is also initial as well as final if these two conditions are fulfilled that means in both the automata there is a state like this and both the finite automata contain the input symbols from the same alphabet sigma that is sigma can contain symbols like a b or 0 1 that means if both the condition are true then we will follow a procedure for testing the equivalence of two finite automata if these two conditions are not fulfilled then we can directly say the two finite automata are not equivalent but if these two conditions are fulfilled then we will follow some additional procedure to say that the two automatas are equivalent so let's discuss the procedure of testing the equivalence of two finite automata through a example suppose there are two automatas given to us this one and this one then we have to check the equivalence so first let's check the two conditions that we discussed the first condition was that both the automatas should contain input symbol from the same alphabet suppose this automata is containing the input symbol c and d that means two input symbols are there cd and here in this automata there is there are also two input symbols c and d that means the alphabet set sigma is same both are containing input symbols from this sigma so first condition is valid now second condition was if in one finite automata there is a state such that there it is initial as well as final here q1 is initial state as well as final state then other automata should also contain a state such that that state is also initial as well as final now note that this condition is not always true suppose if this automata 
does not contain a state that is initial as well as final then this automator should also not contain if this is containing then it should also contain if it is not containing then it should not contain this is the condition number two so here the finite automata one is containing and f2 is also containing so condition two is true the condition two is also true when both the automatas does not contain such state that means in both the cases it is true that is the condition 2 is trying to say that if there is a state such that this q1 is initial as well as final and in finite automata there is no state like that then condition 2 will be false if both the states are there or if both the states are not there then the condition 2 is true i hope it is clear what i am trying to say so now both the conditions are true in this case now let's discuss the procedure the procedure is we have to make the transition diagram of both the fine finite automatas together how we will make it we will start from the initial state q1 is the initial state here and q4 is the initial state here so we will make a column of state and the column of input symbol c and d now state we will take as initial state of both the finite automatas that is q1 comma q4 now while building this table we will keep a track if by chance in any case we get a edge like that suppose we have a pair like q1 q4 here we are discussing q1 q4 q1 on c q1 on c moves to q1 and q4 on c also moves to q4 now for d it will be q1 on d it moves to q2 and q4 on d it moves to q5 now we have got a new pair q2 q5 we will move it here so now next pair we will check for q2 q5 now first checking for q2 q5 we will check we will check q2 q5 as check whether both the states are final or both the states are non final q2 here is non final state and q5 here is non final state that means both the state are non final states so we can proceed q2 on c q2 on c goes to q3 and q5 on c goes to q7 now q2 on d q2 on d goes to q1 and q5 on d goes to q4 now check these q3 q7 q3 here is non final and q7 here is non final that means this pair is okay then q1 q4 q1 here is final and q4 here is final that means both are final it is okay when it is not okay when the pair contains one state that is final and other state that is not final so whenever we will encounter that type of pair we will deal with it let's discuss now q3 q7 is the new pair that we have found so we will move q3 q7 here q3 on c goes to q2 and q7 on c q7 on c goes to q6 now q3 on d q3 on d does not go anywhere and q7 on d moves to itself here it is mistake q3 on d moves to itself so q3 on d also moves to q3 and q7 on d also moves to q7 so now we have got a new edge as q2 q6 first test q2 q6 q2 here is non final q6 here is non final that means we can bring it here q2 q6 q2 on c goes to q3 q6 on c goes to q7 q3 q7 is the edge now q2 on d q2 on d moves to q1 and q6 on d moves to q4 there is no new edge as q3 q7 is already processed q2 
q1 q4 is already processed so the table is complete here now in this table we got all the pairs such that the pair contains both the final states or the pair contains both the non final states when condition 1 and condition 2 is true and the table is such that the pair is containing both the final states or both the non final states then these two automata are said to be equivalent that means fa1 is equivalent to fa2 now we test the example when they are not equivalent let's discuss one more example now so let's check for this example first we test the two conditions the first condition was both the finite automata should contain the input symbols from the same alphabet here the input symbols are c and d and here also the input symbols are c and d that means the input alphabet sigma is same for both the finite automata therefore the condition one is true now second condition states that if there is a state such that it is final as well as non-final then the another automata should also contain the state of that type such that it is also final and it is of non-final also that is initial also so let's discuss the procedure now as both the conditions are true so to test if they are equivalent we start making the transition table we make the column of state input symbol c and input symbol d first start from the initial state initial states are q1 and q4 q1 q4 now q1 on c moves to q1 and q4 on c moves to q4 we have got the same now on d q1 on d moves to q2 and q4 on d moves to q5 we have got a new edge q2 q5 q2 here is non-final and q5 here is non-final that means this edge is acceptable this pair is acceptable so q2 q5 is moved here now q2 on c moves to q3 and q5 on c moves to q7 and q2 on d q2 on d moves to q1 and q5 on d moves to q6 now check q3 q7 is a new edge q3 is non-final and q7 here is non-final and that means this pair can be brought here we have also got another new pair q1 q6 let's check for this also q1 is final state here and q6 is non-final state here that means q1 is final and q6 is non-final in our previous example we got a pair such that both in the pair both the states were final or both the states were non-final but here in this example we have got a pair such that one state is final and other state is non-final that means we will stop our transition table here only and we will say that these two finite automatas are not equivalent the two finite automatas are only equivalent if both the conditions are fulfilled and thus transition table is made such that in the transition table the pair contains both the final states or both the non-final states if we encounter any problematic pair we will stop there itself and say the two finite automatas are not equivalent i hope it is clear to you now consider this example these are the two finite automatas and we have to test for their equivalence the first finite automata is containing the input symbols a and b the second one is containing a and b that means the condition is true that sigma is same for both the finite automatas in both the finite automatas q1 is the initial state and here q5 is the initial state now note here that for condition 2 condition 2 states that if there is a state such that it is initial as well as final then other finite automata should also contain a state that is initial as well as final but here in both the finite automatas we are not able to find the state that is initial as well as final here the initial state is q1 final is q4 initial is q5 final is q8 so 
कंडीशन वन इज कंडीशन वन इज ट्रू एंड कंडीशन टू इज ऑल्सो ट्रू हेयर कंडीशन टू इज ट्रू इन बोथ द केसेस इफ अ फाइनाइट ऑटोमेटा कंटेन्स अ स्टेट दैट इज इनिशियल एज वेल एज फाइनल देन अदर शुड ऑल्सो कंटेन बट इफ नन ऑफ दैम कंटेन्स देन ऑल्सो कंडीशन टू इज ट्रू देर शुड नॉट बी द केस दैट वन कंटेन्स एंड द एन अदर डज नॉट कंटेन इधर बोथ द कंटेन और बोथ डज नॉट कंटेन सो कंडीशन टू इज ट्रू हेयर ऑल्सो नाउ प्रोसीजर इज वी विल मेक द टेबल स्टेट ए एंड बी फर्स्ट वी विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द इनिशियल स्टेट क्यू वन क्यू फाइव क्यू वन ऑन ए गोज टू क्यू टू एंड क्यू फाइव ऑन ए गोज टू क्यू सेवन नाउ ऑन बी क्यू वन ऑन बी रिमेन्स टू क्यू वन एंड क्यू फाइव on b remains to q5 now we have a new pair q2 q7 we will check for q2 q7 q2 is non final here and q7 is non final here that means we can bring this pair here q2 q7 whenever we will find a pair such that the pair contains one final and one non final we will stop and say the automatas are not equivalent but if both the pair contains both the final sets or both the non final sets we will keep on moving so now for q2 q7 q2 on a goes to q4 and q7 on a goes to q8 q4 q8 both are final states that means this pair is okay now check for b q2 on b q2 on b goes to q1 and q7 on b goes to q5 now out of these two pairs q1 q5 is already here so we will bring q4 q8 here both are final states so we can bring them here q4 q8 now q4 on a doesn't go anywhere and q8 on a also doesn't go anywhere that means here it is null phi now q4 on b doesn't go anywhere and q8 on b doesn't go anywhere that means here also it is phi so what is happening we are not able to bring another pair this side that means we have processed all the pairs now all the pairs are either containing the non final states or the pair is containing both the final states so as we have reached our end of termination of the transition table that means we are proved that the two automatas are equivalent the major point of concentration was condition number 2 the condition 2 according to condition 2 if there is a state like this which is initial as well as final it should exist in both the finite automatas if no finite automata contains a state like this then both should does not contain then the condition 2 will be true if one automata is containing and other is not containing then condition number 2 will fail for both the finite automatas i hope it is clear so i hope the procedure of checking the equivalence of two finite automatas is now clear to you if you still have any doubt you can ping me on the email address that is mentioned in the description of the video please see the description of the video also as there are many other important links that i have shared in the description of the video and if you liked our video please hit the like button please share it and if you have not subscribed to our channel yet please hit the subscribe button also thank you